Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good whatever time of day it is. It's the Layback Gamer, and we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Actually, instead of playing the game this time, we're casting. That's right. Today I'm bringing you another Elder Scrolls Legend cast. And today we are going to be cra casting my friend the Lunatic. Shout outs to him for allowing me to cast it to cast him. And he's going to be playing in the versus arena. So if it looks like he's playing with a little bit funky cards, that is why. And for some reason, I still can't see what he's doing. Oh boy. This might be a fail already. Uh, there we go. Okay, I just needed to refresh that. I thought I might have to close the app. But I am fortunate enough to not have to do that. Just in time. Uh, nothing ha nothing too big happened. So, uh, our friend and Luna, I'm going to call him Luna for short. Luna the Forgotten Hero versus 14 Flurry Jack of Trades. So we're just going to call it 14. Luna, of course, is playing with a Crusader deck, so strength and intelligence. However, in this arena run, you have the Wabajack when, when you're drafting, so you can always pick a new card. You can use it, there are five charges on it, and it'll shuffle up the cards that you have, and that can get you a card from any class. Which is why this little guy is here. Oh, he, he was lucky enough to get a legendary. I did not get that in my run. World Eater's Airy. Oh, that's nice. That, that, that can be nice if he's got the creatures to play it. I haven't seen... Is that power or health? Oh, co oh it's a co cost. So, I haven't seen his deck yet. He just drafted a new one. He actually played a game before this, and I happened to catch him in the middle of that game. So we didn't sadly did not get to do that. All right, and there's just so much going on. Uh, 14 is playing with a warrior deck, so strength and endurance. Now, in the Shagor uh, style of the versus arena. There are plenty of different lanes. This one is Warzone, after a, a creature is summoned here, deal one damage to your opponent. And this one is Graveyard, after a creature other than a Rotting Draugr has died in this lane, it summons a Rotting Draugr. And my god, there is a lot of action going on here. Normally if I was playing this, it'd be going a little bit slower. But, I guess that's just my luck. All right, playing the Snowhawk Detachment along with Porcullus. I haven't really been casting this game up until this point, but my god, has it been action-packed? Well, it, it has been. Ugh. All right, so our opponent, he got lucky enough to get the he bat, to get the giant bat. Ooh, interesting, he also got that. He also got the Thalmor uh, Justicier. And his, it's unfortunately for Luna, that Shadow Scale is going to get a trigger. Oh, not bad. Thieves Guild Hilled Shadow Foot. Gonna be able to take a card from the top of his deck. I hope he steals a good one. He's going to need it. Um what can he do right now? Uh he doesn't have, no, he doesn't have the power to play Stone Throw. What I would do is I would probably A little distraction might prove useful. Oh, now he can stone throw it. Um, Luna, I think that was a bit of a misplay there. Um, I, I would definitely have stone thrown on the shadow scale, and then it's... So many verses, so little time. Oh. Okay. You're the master here. Uh, not bad, Spine of the Elder Blood. Uh, what I was going to say was, what I would have done, was I would have ran the Snowhawk Detachment into the Giant Bat to play the Ambusher, and that way you get both this guy and that Giant Bat killed. And, obviously, that becomes much better for your... That would have been a better play, in my opinion, because he would have had two less attacking creatures. Yes, he would have given the Shadow Scale a bit of a buff, but with the creep But... I don't know, actually. 
now thinking of it, it might not have been the better play. I don't know. That's bad. That I know is bad. If they're smart, they'll walk away. Um, ooh, arrest. That's a powerful card. Uh, he probably wants to use the arrest against him. Just to get A, it gets rid of that. And wisely doing so, arresting our orc. Here, Gor oh, God. Oh, I am still very tired. <laughs> uh, Gortwog. Smartly arresting him. Now, it's a little bit dangerous having cards. Wow. This dude drafted a frost giant too? When a creature heals, you gain that much health. Dang. Come on, man. I'll even let you swing first. Damn. That's a pretty good card. Uh, you don't have any cards to play world e with world leaders, Aerie. It's not looking good. I will admit, it's not looking good for him. Uh, I'm hoping Luna has another arrest in his hand. The healing's good, and 14 is almost out of cards, which is another good thing for Luna, but those three cards in there could be three really big hitters. How much do you normally cost? Ooh, that's nasty. Unfortunately, that does not bring it back to his side. That was something I never knew. That, that's, that's a good point. So whenever you arrest a creature, that, that's nasty, though. Whenever you arrest a creature, it permanently stays on your side. I thought it might have been... Well, then again, it's very similar to Mirak, where if you were to silence that guy, he wouldn't come back. Interesting, interesting. Heroic Rebirth. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure how he's going to get out of it. Out of this position. I definitely think he needs to chuck down that Fortress Warrior. Or, no, no, no. Fortress Warrior, and then the Bar of Guar, and then play it on one of his creatures. He doesn't, yeah, he didn't want to chuck down the Spine of you know, the Elder Blood on the off chance he has another Shield Breaker in hand. Oh, I don't agree with this play. Second, he gets wrecked by a second shield breaker. Yes, he's calling his opponent. Actually, also gets wrecked by a silence. He's calling his opponent out, saying that he doesn't have either of those, those cards, either, either of those effects in his hand. But personally, personally, I'd be looking out for it. He's already proven that he has them, and I think. Ooh. I will wonder what he got there. That's not enough! That's not enough to get to the Fortress Warrior, and it will stand. Alright. Now, I was, I was pretty happy to see him get out. Now I'll be really impressed if I see him pull this one off. Um, what would I do? You, you want to get rid of that 6-6. Six, six. That's, for, that's for sure. I wouldn't have tossed away the 1-1, one, one, unless he plans on using that Quicksilver Crossbow and putting it on the... I would probably put it on the Fortress Warrior, do one damage, and then trade Gortwag into the Mystic Dragon. That's what I'd personally do. I'm not coaching Luna here, so... Hmm, interesting. He's going to give it a guard instead. Is he going to give it guard? No, he's going to give that guard. I have to... Oh, good play. Um, okay, now you... Re oh, he's taking the time to set that up. Uh, I would have done that next turn. You wanted to get rid of that... Uh, the... Uh, got it. My mind. All right. You don't want to. You can hit with the fortress warrior, but you don't want to hit anymore. If you accidentally give fourteen, in say a pro a mummify. Well, if you give him a mummify, then you're dead. If he gets mummified, then you're dead. But 
Still. Taste my steel. All right, so far so good. He needs to kill off his his opponent's creatures. Oh, I didn't agree with that. I would love to have seen the Frost Giant go in. Because now there are two Rotting Draugr on the field, and he knows he has Mark Hearth Ban Bannerman. He's going to be able to clean up the field. Easy. And get 2 one, one. He's going to get two one ones. All he has to do is just send the Bannerman into the East Empire Crafter. That's all he's got to do. And that... Uh, then play, use the two one ones that he gains, run him into the Frost Giant, and if I were him, I would quick silver crossbow. Oh, he's going to do that. I also, I forgot he had the stone throw. Yeah, debt. Run it into one of the one ones. Yes, you have the Firebrand Nords. You, you might as well. Oh, he went face with him. Interesting. Interesting decision. Uh, you want to play that Quicksilver crossbow. You gotta get rid of one of his creatures. At the very least. Yeah, you can play play the Spine of the Elder Blood. Uh, I don't agree with that play. You want to hold... Wait until... You want to wait until you know how... You, uh, still don't agree with that. Although, I don't believe there's a card in the game that'll give you 5 damage. Um, no, there's not. Not that, not one I can think of off the top of my head. That does it! He needs a prophecy right now, and he doesn't get it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. I'm so sorry. Unstoppable Rage. That could prove to be pretty, pretty nasty, especially if he's got any card with Drain. So Luna losing his first game. I'm going to assume it's a Heat. I do apologize if I am mistaken by that. So we are going to wait for Luna to get queued up into a new match, which I'm hoping he doesn't decide to suddenly go offline. Otherwise, I'm going to have a 12-minute episode. Well, I would probably play a game. It would be an awkward show match slash be play a game. And... Ah, there we go. I don't want to have that happen. But regardless, Luna played a great game. I definitely would have loved to have seen the Quicksilver Crossbow be played. And instead of going face, pick off those Draugr. Especially with the deal one damage lane. Otherwise... And if he did, that, would, that wouldn't have happened. I, I feel like if he managed to pick off all of them, which I'm, I'm sure, he, sure he could have, oh. might have ended a little bit. I don't know. That's all in the past. We're on to game two, and Luna so is playing nice. against... Oh, nice, Breton Conjurer. <laughs> Alasco, the Centurion. Ooh, this guy is... That guy must be pretty deep. Either must be really lucky or really good. Or really good at the game. The Centurion title, for those of you who don't know, is... A title you gain after you win 100 games with a neutral only deck. So, you only play neutral cards, such as Barb Gore. You only play with those guys. And there's only one effective way to do that. And that's you play a Dwemer deck. I, um, we are all, I'm actually almost done constructing mine. I just need a couple more cards to bring me back, back up to about f in between 55 and 60. I did some chat testing on the Forsworn Champion in practice mode. Or, yeah, it was practice mode. And I figured out what, exa what the Forsworn Champion did. I wasn't sure what it meant by type. So, when I went ahead and played with it, I realized that type means type as in, like, Red Guard or Orc or Nord. Those types. This one's a Breton. So, if I were to pick the... So, if I were to play Forsworn Champion and play and choose Iliac Sorcerer, any card with the, with the name Breton would get the effect. Let's heat things up. 
Ooh, interesting play. Definitely a good one. Heavily agree. That was a great play. Priesta of the Moons. Hmm. Curious. Smartly going after that. Quicksilver Crossbow comes out. And I would probably use a Quicksilver Crossbow to eliminate the can either the Candle Hearth Brawler or the Orc. Actually, he could do the Ambusher and get them both. What am I talking about? I would like to see the Ambusher. Oh, he's going to play a Stone Throw, which means no Ambusher here to play. Then he's going to put the defense up. Do I agree with this? Sort of. I mean, he's got a high enough of a health pool. If if he was on some, if he was on ten health, I would have let that. That would have been a better play because, obviously, when you're almost dead, you want to make sure your opponent doesn't get any more hits off. But he could take a couple of swings. Uh, the elite is not actually that's that's an even better target to have. You got le you got a one damage lethal right there. by Frost Atronach. And with that, uh, Alice Board is gone. Although, he does have three cards Don't in hand. Me. And one of them is a Scholar. That is very unfortunate for him. Because the Elite can come out and use the Quicksilver Crossbow. Yes? You swim in deep waters. Good. Good job, Luna. And... He probably wants to clean off the, uh, the Conjurer. So he should use one of those Nord Firebrands as well as the 1-1 one, one Grunt, which he is doing. Good job, Luna. I approve of that play, even though you don't need my approval to play. Wisely trying to play the control game. His hand is definitely built for the control. He even has the combo I hate the most. And that's Child of Hearsing and Unstoppable Rage. If uh, if Aleth decides to build up his board, he is going to be very, very punished by it. As we can see right now, Luna is building up her board. If he can get a three cost or less, that's perfect. That's all Luna needs. Alpha will have to play a couple more creatures in the right in order to hit for that unstoppable rage to really get out of control. This is one of the combos that it could be hard to pull off, but it can also be... But if it ha does happen, it's very deadly. Wisely going after that. If he was smart, yes. So he is going after the skeever. Excellent. That's what I'd like to see. I'll even let you swing first. That makes it, you know, Unstoppable Rage is now nothing. He doesn't want to play Unstoppable Rage on, on the Child of Hearsing because the only thing he's getting is his own creature. And it's not enough damage to kill for killing. Heroic Rebirth comes out. That's a card I haven't played with at all. Eee. I would love to have seen in here. I would have loved to have seen Luna attack first. I'll be honest. But the three damage going to a one-one. Best case scenario. Actually, I'd say even better was if it went directly for Luna himself. Um, I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, the snipe! Heirloom, great store... So, store... Store? <laughs> Nicely done. Beautiful play. Alpha no... He knows what's up. He's scared of the unstoppable rage. He doesn't know exactly it's in his hand. But he's got a very strong feeling that it is. Oh, no! Just as I was giving him props, he did that. The Unstoppable Rage is gonna... I have a... I would do it if I was Luna. It's worth it. One more attack in. And all he needs is just one more damage. 
And there it is with the Storm Cool Cam! Oh, Alpha! I feel so bad for you, mate. You almost had it, buddy. You just made the mistake of playing the Protector there. Ah, oh, I, I feel so sorry for you, man. It was a, definitely a very good game. I'd say they were both pretty evenly matched. And all Altho had to do was find another charge and eliminate the child of here scene. Luna was dead. I'm gonna go get some food. Alright. Alright, you do that, buddy. Oops, uh, I guess he went offline. Okay, well, that lasted a lot, a lot shorter time than I thought. So... And... Animal City is... It decided to came out. Um... Hmm. Hold on one second. Alright, we are back. Sorry for the, uh... On pause for a second there, but uh, Luna did go offline. I saw that another one of my friends had came online, and so well now we're just gonna cast this one game of my one of my other friends. Excuse me, that was rude. Atomosity the Forger, his opponent Lee Gro the f oh god oh god no I'm getting fl this video's getting flagged. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go Lee Wan, the Forgotten Hero. Oh god, well, how was that name not flagged? How has that not been flagged yet? Oh, it doesn't matter, because I know this, I'm pretty sure this video is gonna get flagged. Oh, I did not see that. So, this is ranked play. Our friend Animosity is, at, is in the Warrior rank, playing against Lee, who is in the Apprentice League. Uh, Animosity looks like he's going... Probably for more of a beast form deck. I'm, I'm going to say it's beast form. I don't actually know. If I was a betting man, I probably would say beast form. Prophecy coming out. Thieves Guild recruit. The Thieves and the Fighters. How lovely. Both guilds present. Playing the Gatekeeper. Giving the buff to himself. Good choice. So... Yeah, this is a bit of a interesting cast, because first we had two Chaos Arenas, and now we're having a completely normal game. I was kind of hoping to get three, but... I mean, this was the best I was going to... I got. Alright, so Lee is playing a Scout deck, and Animosity is playing a... Well, obviously, a Warrior deck. I do believe that he is using a bit of a template, and the template w I think it is is Alia's companions. I do believe Adamasi maybe may have modified it a little bit. I'll ask him after the game if he Can't did. The and the reason why I say it is because he's got a lot of beast form. No, oh, he's got two beast form, and but the cards he's been playing looks. Kind of like it would be there. Unfortunately, that doesn't come out. The silence doesn't come out in time. And the compa alias compa hunts mate, not companion mate, does get the effect off, but she does die very quickly. All right, Lee, what are you going to play for five mana? Shadow Fen Pre. Ooh. That's a big loss right there, especially with what I think is about to come out. Yes, the Sour of Revenge. You should. And that's nasty. That's not good. What is that? Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the sword swing. And I always thought that was a, an extension of the sword. Nicely done. Nicely done. I think that was... A might have been a bait. Shadow Fen Priest might have been a bait. I don't know. I personally wouldn't have played it, but it did bait out that. That made perfect sense. It did bait that out. <laughs> oh boy, I'm still tired. 
All right, what do we got going on here? The city is safe in my hands. Hmm. I'm not sure what, what I have done there. I may have played Companion Harbringer. I don't know. This is definitely not a deck heck that I we some of the cards I've seen in this deck is not what I normally play. Then again, I've never seen it this high rank, so perhaps when we get there next the season we'll start play we'll start playing around with that rank. Or with the with this uh, with that card. Okay, yeah. Now I definitely think this is a modified alias companions deck list. Where Lee might at, might be playing Black Marsh Smugglers, or a mod bits of a modified version of that. And I'm just basing this off the cards that I've seen. I could be completely wrong on both fronts, but it's looking an awful lot like that. If I see Alia come out for. Animosity, then I know that 100% guaranteed or your money back. This is a modified alien companion. It's not good, looking good for animosity. Then again, or animosity, atomosity. Wow. Ugh. I'll take him all myself if I have to. The spirit of his glamour goes with us. Alright, if you can get one more werewolf out, that would be huge. Unfortunate. wow, all the silence. The silence and the denial in Lee's deck is real. He's doing an amazing job at keeping down all the creatures. And he's playing the control game. Uh, the Sour of Revenge comes out. Surely Lee has to be out of ways to remove his cre to remove Adam's creatures and I'm just gonna start Adam calling him Adam because I'm getting tired of saying that name there's another finish off and he's gonna give himself a card too that doesn't really matter if he had another werewolf out on the field that would have been pretty big the gatekeeper there's just nothing Adam can do. His creatures are just being removed as he plays them. Not to mention, his Lee is playing a very good control game. He's obviously a... a, a well, being in rank 6, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to be pretty experienced. Adam doing the smart choice and say, Okay, I give up in the shadow lane for now. He can take it. <laughs> Although that I think that was off the top, so he might actually be running out of cards. He might be running out of removal. And that could start get resulting in some scary possibilities. What are the odds that I think Lee probably has a few legendaries in that hand of his. I wouldn't be surprised if he had Odaving, saving that for a desperate turn if Adam decides. Your storm is no match. <laughs> oh, look at me! I'm. I'm not. I just know. Look at that. Let it be known here first. I am part seer. I don't think that's gonna stay down. It would be nice if White Run Protector does get to go into his beast form. But I don't think that's going to happen, based on what we've been seeing. I'll fight to my last breath. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! That is, all, that is huge for Lee. Lee. Lee's not going to be able to do anything here. I'll fight to my last breath. Unfortunately, also one mana off of that. Now, the one thing that I kind of am disagreeing with Lee here is he's... Will that revive? Nope. I thought that might have reversed the White Run Protector stats, you know, bringing it back up in the same way that 
if you were to give little girl minus one minus one, she transforms into a five five. The forest. I figured maybe the um that would the same thing would happen for that. Okay, now I know this is definitely it. He wants to save Alias Huntress for when he can get a rune off. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be able to. But the one thing I was saying about Lee is I, I don't I really agree with his position right now. He needs to start attacking. He's not going to win this game if he just plays friendly. He'll never win. And Lee does not want to play any of his hand, really. Otherwise, all that's going to happen is Odeving is going to come down and lay the smack on his board. What what do you do here? I don't think there is anything you can do. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, Gravestone Ravenger. I would play that. Even though you kind of know you're playing into Odeving. Speaking of which, I think we're going to see him again. Your storm is no match for Hey, welcome back, my friend. Alright, if Lee was smart, and he's he's going to save it again. Yeah, sorry Adam, I, you lost this one. You did, do a, you did do a good job. Played a great game. Unfortunately, Lee's deck is was built solely for control. Which is unfortunate. Who is he going to shoot the one damage to? Wisely doing so. Uh, I don't think there's any way he can get rid of that. Nope. That would have been a nice prophecy to have. But this game is over. Alright, Grim Shield, brother. Sour Revenge, but just not no, enough. For sure. Odaving. Nice seeing him again. Taking the game out. Good try, Adam. You did do your best. Unfortunately, your opponent, your opponent play, was playing a really, really good control deck. He had all the right moves. And it sucks with a deck... that playing the deck that Lee played would also suck for any mit like any decks that rely on huge minions on buffing your creatures up so I, my smith master deck for example would absolutely suck against that my cards would be removed left right and center easy um trying to think was there at any point was, was Lee a, I don't think at any point Lee let Adam establish any any good moves well obviously he had to have at the beginning of the game because he managed to lower his health a little bit but yeah the, there's just nothing left to say all right, so that was me casting two people today, two in the Versus Arena, Chaos Edition, and one on the rank. Thank you very much to both players, and once again, shoutouts to Lundic and Ama Adamosity, La last minute, I know, for him, but shoutouts to both of them for allowing me to cast them. If you guys want your games to be casted, let me know on the YouTube comments, add me as a friend through Elder Scrolls Legend, um, let me quickly go ahead and pull up my ID so that you guys know where to add. All right, so that that name up there, let admit add that as a friend, or add me through Discord. My new username will be in the description up below. I haven't played any games since our crazy arena run. If you want to check that out, that will be also. Well, that that's last week's video. I'm trying to see if I can post an annotation of it, but I'm not 100% sure if it's going to go up. So if I do manage to get an annotation of the first episode, it will be in the comments section below. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave the like if you enjoyed. 
subscribe if you really enjoyed. And if you think other people who would enjoy this video or anything else that I do, share to everyone around. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good day.